Well, this is the uh, this is the Concord now. Move back a bit. Bet you didn't expect it to be looking like this. Um, I was originally gonna keep it natural, keep it uh, keep the age on it, but just sanding it down, just trying to keep that patina on, trying to make it look a good sort of aged. Um, it just wasn't working. Uh, so I've decided to get everything powder coated. Um, it's gone satin black. Satin, I thought, would work better against the gold. Um, and it's more scratch resistant. So I've gone satin black. Um, gold decals, as you saw, the doors just there. I've got the Concorde up top. Um, and I've got the 5 v one just hidden just there. Um, and at the front, you're going to see that I've got all that taped off. Uh, I'm just about to sand that head tube down um, and then spray it gold. So the head tube's going to go gold. Um, all the decals came from H. Lloyd's Cycles, so if you need them, you can find them there. Uh, and after that, I'm just going to line the lugs. But it's going to take a slight change of direction as well. I had got everything ready to rebuild it as the four speed. Um, but that's changing. I've decided to dig out my Shimano 600 set, uh, the old style, the first gen, and turn it into a 10 speed bike because it's got all the brazons already. Um, it's got that little nipple that you can probably see there for the down tube shifters. It's got there the brazons for cable guides. Um, so I thought it was only right that it went 10 speed basically.
this is going to be quite some transformation. It's all been lug lined. Um, it's only my third time doing it, so it's a bit wavy in places. You need to get that um, enamel paint actually quite fluid to make it work. If it's if it's uh, quite viscous, is that the right word? Viscous. If it's quite viscous, it doesn't quite work as well, so it needs to be fluid. Uh, all the decals are on. Uh, the head tube is painted. The badge is on. I repainted the badge. Repainted all the Shimano 600 um, infills, so that should look awesome. Um, so that, it's just reassembling it now, basically, just reassembling it. Um, but it should it should come together really well. I'm going to be really stoked with this one. Um, black and gold always looks classic.
the little lady has uh, returned from her daytime adventures, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to call it a day here. So the bike is looking absolutely stunning now. Um, it's almost together, almost there. I'd say 90% there. There's just a few little tweaks. Um, the wheels are obviously the big thing. I've had to, well I'll show you. To fit this new wheel set in, um, I've had to make the axle, or make the axle spacing a bit narrower. So that's resulted in axle sticking out on the drive side and on the non-drive side. I'm going to need a shorter axle. Um, I'm also going to need to rebuild the wheel because the spokes are horrible in it. Like there's no tension in them. They're rusty, um, and it will give me a chance to dish it properly. So later on this week, uh, after I've released all this, I'm going to take this wheel apart, rebuild it, uh, make sure it's all clean and straight and all that jazz and stick a different axle in there so that I can get the spacing right um, and so that I can actually lock it because at the moment I can't lock it. Um, and one down, while I'm down here as well I've also noticed, which I didn't realise, that the adjuster on the Shimano 600 der derailleur is broken um, so I can't actually put a cable in there so I'm going to have to try and get that out and put a new one in there. So the Eagle Eyed will notice that chainring is unrung. Um, it is. I can't get it off. I've tried to change it. One of the bolts is seized and I'm going to have to drill it out so that will have to be done next time. But all the um, all the work I did on the filling in the paint on the derailleurs cranks, it's all come out super well. Really impressed with it. That it's only a little touch but it really works. Now the lug lining came out really well, I think, um, I've already said that, but I've used the gold braided cable to go with it. Um, and I've changed the brakes up, uh, they were centre pull mod 61s before, so they don't have that hanger. Now they are some GB T91s. Now that's the T91 right there. Um, I've got matching from front and rear. I did actually buy a set of Shimano 600 brake levers and calipers. And the calipers cost me an arm and a leg. Um, £50 just for a set of calipers. But it turns out the drop on the rear here is more than the front and I only measured the front. Um, the front drop has 57mm, the rear has about 68 69 So these T91s came in useful. Um, they're on the minimum on the front and they're halfway on the rear so they should work perfect and they're actually of the right era um, I know I've upgraded the rest of the components but the brakes maybe you'd consider it an upgrade but they're sticking with the same era so GB Sprite T91s and the matching brake levers also decided to replace that Brooks saddle uh, the old one, the brown one was a bit dry, um, deformed, so I've stuck a black one on there, matches the black frame actually in the black bar tape, so that's uh, that's good. And if we go for the bar tape, and bars actually, um, gone for the GB Randonneur style bars, uh, wrapped in some Adida black bar tape, um, that went on pretty well actually, lifted the levers up so I could tuck tuck it under there as best as possible without wrapping over several times so I hope that is up to standards for everyone I can't see what the uh, exposure is like but anyway in the background we've got the Schwalb actually just cheap Schwalb to go on HS159 I think yeah, HS159 gun walls, 27 by one and a quarter. Um, so they should be ready to go on. I'm super happy with how everything's turned out. All the lug lining, the coloured head tube, everything. Um, upgrading it to the 10 speed from the 4 speed. 
or really putting it back to the 10 speed because that's what it should have been um, so just a few more things to do but I think that will be enough for this episode Torv is whining um, and my battery is running low so I'm going to leave you with that zoom in on the head tube take the focus back or exposure back and uh, leave it there so if you like this video thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more if you want to see the finale I'll take it out for a ride and maybe even keep it for a Royka next year um, so yeah thanks for watching